messed it up. <laughs> You're stupid. And for today's Daily Dose of Stupid, CNN is going to be at the center of this one, which I'm sure comes as a surprise to nobody. They've, it's not like they've never been here before. CNN is, is pretty often the source of our Daily Dose of Stupid. Uh, so this is a tweet actually not done by any one individual. I mean, I'm sure there was a guy that did it, but uh, this is just tweeted out by CNN uh, in general. So if we can check out this tweet. So they're sharing an article here about uh, cervical cancer screenings, and you can see in the tweet there they say, individuals with the cervix are now recommended to start cervical cancer screening at 25. <laughs> so so they're putting out this notice about cervical cancer and they say individuals with the cervix, which is very obviously a nod to transgenderism What the suggestion or the implication that they are intentionally implying here is that you can also have a cervix despite not being a woman because otherwise there's no reason to say anything other than women of this certain age need to get cervical cancer screenings. They, they go out of their way to say individuals with the cervix. Uh, which, um, man, some of the responses on Twitter were great. We'll get to them in a second, but, uh, that's, I, I gotta believe that the vast majority of women, even liberal women that may agree with a lot of this ridiculousness, the vast majority of them that just aren't on board with the transgender thing, they've got to look at this and just be shaking their head. I mean, they're women. Call them women. That's what it is. Like getting neck deep in this political correct garbage doesn't really help anybody. A person with a cervix is a woman. End of story, full stop. There are no exceptions. If you have that, you're a woman. If you have other stuff, then you're a man. Facts don't care about your feelings. So to kind of illustrate this, my fav one of my favorite responses was uh, Pierce Morgan. Pierce Morgan, remember, this is the former CNN host, so he is arguing on Twitter with his former employer that wound up letting him go a few years ago. Pierce Morgan is one of the furthest left individuals you will meet anywhere. This is a guy who on national TV, when he was debating Ben Shapiro, straight up said, I don't care about the Constitution. This is not a right-wing pundit here. And Pierce Morgan said this on Twitter in response to this. Do you mean women? One of the great things about the whole own the libs thing, and I'm not like, a lot of people own the libs is the ultimate for them. They, they really want to own the libs. In fact, they will go out of their way and even be ideologically inconsistent or support things that they don't even actually support. Just voice their support for them as though they do support it just so it makes people on the left angry. I've never bought into that, but sometimes owning the libs is just saying common sense things that everyone should agree on. Merely saying, uh, well, a person with a cervix, another word for that would be woman. By Pierce freaking Morgan. If you are too far left for Pierce Morgan, it is time to rethink your political priorities. If if Pierce Morgan is looking at you, you go, yeah, that's that's just some crazy people on the left. <laughs> it is time to do some self-evaluation at that point. But anyway, <laughs> individuals with a cervix. It gets me every time. This is another really good response because sometimes, especially when you're dealing with CNN, the best way to punch them in the face is to let them punch themselves in the face. In other words, throw their own propaganda back at them. Because remember, this is CNN who still pretends to be a news organization. At least MSNBC is like, you know what? We're a left news organization. We're just taking the veil off. We're not even going to pretend to try to be objective anymore. We support the left's agenda and we're with them. CNN still pretends as though it is objective and it pretends as though it is an actual news organization. And one of the ways that they tried to do that, just to give a little context, is with an ad they came out with, I don't know, about two years ago, I guess, where they have an apple, and basically the theme of this ad is, this is an apple. People might say it's a banana, but it's not. It's an apple. No matter what anybody else says, this is an apple. And they, they rehashed that for about 30 seconds. We made fun of it at the time because of the way that CNN is. But here we have um, a tweet by Molly Hemingway, 
she's works over at the Federalist. This was her reply to the individuals with, as an individual with the cervix herself, uh, the individuals with the cervix tweet. That's all it is. This is an apple, and that's clearly a banana for those of you listening on radio. But sometimes the best way to deal with CNN is just to hit, punch them in the face with their own propaganda. That's all you have to do there. Molly Hemingway really doing yeoman's work over there at the Federalist, just owning CNN by literally posting a reference to their own ad. But what's funny about this whole thing is it's technically a double denial. Because first they're denying that people with a cervix are women. And then they're getting knee deep into a second denial. Because the first one is that a woman is merely a social construct or a feeling. That's really what this all boils down to. Because if they're saying that a person without a cervix can be a woman, then they're saying what a woman is. They are defining woman in a different way than everybody else on the planet. They're saying now that to be a woman, all you have to do is feel like a woman or think that you're a woman. So Shania Twain was actually ahead of the curve on this one. Uh, but, but as long as you feel as though you're a woman, regardless of what your biology says, regardless of what your cells say, then you actually are a woman. Now, that's very different than saying a person can dress like a woman or act like a woman. CNN is saying, no, they actually are women, which is the reason we can't say women over a certain age need to get cervical cancer screens. We have to broaden that to anybody that has a cervix because Somebody with a cervix may be a man, in fact, which is, of course, utter nonsense. But that's the first denial. The second denial, which comes on top of the first denial, is an attempt to maintain some level of consistency. So the second denial here is denying biology. See, the thing is, because I said, and I'm borrowing from Ben Shapiro here, facts don't care about your feelings. Well, biology doesn't care about your feelings either. Because biology is objective. Biology is a fact. And so anybody that is a woman could get cervical cancer. Cervical cancer also does not care about your feelings. Not one bit. No matter how much of a, a, a transgender you are, even if you're 100% there, you always feel like a man and act like a man and dress like a man, even if you have the surgery uh, and all that stuff, I mean, I guess unless you have your cervix removed, I then technically you wouldn't have to worry about it or get screenings. But no matter how far into this ideology you are, no amount of feeling like a man is going to make you immune to cervical cancer. And so this is the second denial that CNN is putting on top of that. First, that being a woman means merely, well, just whatever you feel. The second is that biology somehow reflects that or, or that you know mental disorder of gender dysphoria manifest itself in an actual fact. That's not the case, because if it were a fact, in fact, if, if feeling like a woman made you a woman, you wouldn't have to worry about cervical cancer. If feeling, or sorry, if, if feeling like a man made you a man, you wouldn't have to worry about cervical cancer because you would not be a woman. But the thing is, these people are women, and therefore they have to worry about cervical cancer. Remember, I'm a testicular cancer survivor. If I identified as a woman, dressed like a woman, nothing that I did aside from removing my testicles would have made me immune to testicular cancer. It would have come and gotten me regardless of how much of a woman I felt like I was. Even if I wore a dress every day, even if I changed my name, even if I married a male person and, and lived like a woman in every conceivable way, still wouldn't matter, I'd still be a guy. I would still have an X chromosome and a Y chromosome, and unless I lopped them off, I would still have testicles, which would still be susceptible to cancer. And this is the great denial that CNN is engaged in, because error begets error. They had to engage in the first denial that women were actually a thing, and so they went off into this, this crazy backward bizarro world where women is just a feeling and not actually a thing, and then they have to sync that with the fact that well, biology doesn't care how much you feel like a woman, and so then they have to bring on this second denial to try to comport their first denial with reality, which doesn't work. And this is how you get far down this road, is because since you are no longer invested in truth, it's just like when you tell a lie to somebody else. You have to continuously lie on top of that and lie on top of that in order to keep it going. 
That's the situation that CNN and the left, who is on board with this transgender initiative, that is the situation they find themselves in today. And it's also important to note that feminism, lesbianism, and transgenderism cannot possibly coexist. This is proof of this. And by the way, there are actual lesbians and transgenders that are starting to figure this out. Because what this basically does is it erases women. If women are just something that we came up with and women don't actually exist, they're all figments of our imagination. Well, if that is the case, then you can't be a lesbian. I mean, it doesn't work that way because if you're a lesbian and you say, no, I only want people that have a cervix, I mean, I guess you could phrase it that way. Um, they would say, no, I feel like a woman, ergo I am a woman, and you're a bigot for not being attracted to me. See, this is the way that these two errors cannot coexist because they're not rooted in fundamental truth. Ergo, lesbianism and transgenderism cannot possibly exist. Feminism can also not coexist with transgenderism because you can't believe that women are special and unique if you don't believe women are a thing. If you believe that we're all interchangeable and we are whatever we feel like we are at the moment, well, then there's nothing special to being a woman. If women are exactly the same as men in every, uh, in every conceivable way, and the only reason that we perceive any differences are because of a social construct, well, then women are just human beings and, and men are just human beings and there's no differences in them. You cannot acknowledge any difference in them and also believe in transgenderism. Ergo, it is impossible to be both a feminist and a transgender. It is also impossible to be a lesbian and also a transgender. Those things do not work. You can't say, I only want to sleep with women if you don't believe women are real. And so what happens is when they have engaged in this debauchery and this heresy, the further down the line they get, they start realizing that, oh, these worldviews aren't possibly compatible with one another. There's no way to sync these two uh, irreconcilable worldviews. It just doesn't work that way. So now they have this fancy new technology where you click on one of these boxes and it takes you to another one of my videos. Hopefully it works a lot better than the Obamacare website or the DNC's Iowa caucus app. Gotta love that big government central planning.